supplies. Ain't there enough dead shit in this town to entertain them? <laughs> They're an indication of how bad you stink, Bonnie. <laughs> flies are more attracted to you than to dead things. Shut the hell up, both of you. Some of us are working here. You call staring at the motherfucking White House working? It's the opposite of working. Nobody ever said Savannah's is supposed to be fun. At least nobody wasn't a fucking idiot. Bonnie doesn't think it's fun, but he's still a fucking idiot. All of you, zip it. It's like being on a bus ride with a bunch of grade schoolers. They started it. Swear to God, Bonnie. Movement, South Lawn. Is it a division agent? Yep. I can just make out the wristwatch. Galveston, Bonnie, you're up. Find out where he goes. Are you really gonna stick me with stinking me to fly me here? Less moaning, more mobilizing. Go, go, go! That's so hilarious. Access unlocked. They took everything from me. Now it's my turn. Detected from the control point in proximity.
We found a small cistern hidden in a park on High Street. It looks pretty well maintained, so we're figuring someone's still using it. You found a what? A small cistern. Probably about 40 or 50 gallons. What's a cistern? Are you kidding me? It's like a tank. Then why didn't you call it tank? Because it's a goddamn cistern. For catching rainwater. Anyway, the point is, it looks like it's being used, so can you send somebody up here with something to poison it with? You could've just mentioned that right away instead of showing off your damn vocabulary. It's a fucking cistern! That's what it's called! Do you call an ambulance a van? No, because there's a word for it. Ambulance! Just send the fucking poison. Jesus. Hello. Aaron Keener here. Uh, you might remember who I am, you might not. Either way, it doesn't matter, as I'm more important to the current scenario than you are. I've got the virus printer old Amherst used to create the green poison, and I've got Vitaly Chernenko, who just happens to know how to use it. So chase me if you dare, but think about what might happen if you get too close. No promises, but I do value my freedom more than I value your life. That was a close one, Agent. Thanks for getting me out. See another agent around here. Portable electronic device detected. to talk about. 
much, Dan. I mean, we all knew him, right? There's no getting around the fact he was a son of a bitch. But that's exactly why he's gonna be missed. If you measure a person by how well-liked they are, in the traditional sense, you aren't getting the full picture. And that's definitely the case with Stan. The only way I can think to say it is that Stan was essential. It's not exaggerating to say that without him, we wouldn't have made it. Because of the characteristics that sometimes made him tough to be around, especially but not exclusively when he was awake, helped build this place, protect it, better it. I'm gonna miss the son of a bitch. Agent, it's a pleasure to see you. Electronic device detected. Henry? What are you doing back here? Hiding. From what? Everything. Why? What's going on? Nothing in particular. Wanna talk about it? It's nothing. Just feeling a little out of my depth. You. Why do you say it like that? If you're out of your depth, where does that leave the rest of us? You're... that's a good word. Indomitable? Indomitable. Henry, give yourself some credit. Now stop brooding and come get something to eat. Anyway you look at it, 
absolutely screwed. Come on, Henry, we'll figure it out. How, huh? We're running out of food. It's been weeks since the last supply drop. I don't think any more are coming. We're not going to starve. A heaping plate of wishful thinking isn't gonna cut it. Our crops aren't coming along fast enough, or well enough. Have you been out there lately? The city is a buffet of wild game. There's more raccoons hanging out on K Street than there used to be lobbyists. It doesn't do us any good if we're on lockdown in here. Those fucking outcasts are hellbent on wiping us off the map. Henry, we're going to pull through. We can eat grasshoppers and kudzu if we have to. This ain't Jamestown. We're not gonna end up as cannibals. I'm sorry. You're right. Yeah. You're right. I, I just... lost perspective there for a minute. You've got a heavy load, that's for sure. But you got us this far. I'm with you all the way. I understand you two are having a difference of opinion. That's a polite way of putting it. With drainage systems, there's what works and what doesn't. Opinion has nothing to do with it. In your opinion? You can't argue with physics, dude. Hey guys, hold up. What's the specific problem here? She's digging a trench. And that's bad. As soon as it rains, it's going to turn into a big pool of mud. And most likely, it would overflow and flood that part of the garden. That's bullcrap. I've been using trenches for years. Yeah, well maybe that works in Tucson or wherever it is you're from, but DC was built in a literal swamp. It's going to be a disaster. In your opinion, Mike, this is Janine's area of expertise. So we're gonna go with her recommendation, but if you really want to prove a point, dig a trench somewhere outside the settlement where it won't cause any harm if Janine is right. Maybe I will. Bring some hip waders in case it rains. Jed wants to rewire the whole thing. It's not an emergency yet, but better to take care of it before it becomes one. What's the downside? Well, it's gonna mean taking down the generator for a few hours, at a minimum. How much of a concern is that? Given a choice between a planned outage at our convenience versus an unplanned outage that'll most likely happen at the worst possible time. Can't argue with that. What do you need from me? Just the thumbs up to get to work. Ah, oh, come on. You don't need my blessing for stuff like this. I'm just gonna defer to you anyway. Of all people, you never have to ask permission to do what you believe needs to be done. Okay, Henry. I'll try to keep it in mind. Agent, we've received a distress call from a community near the Treasury Department. They're getting harassed by outcasts. They need help. You can do something. Good to see you, Agent. Can't you? you're going to like them, but we have two choices. 
Pull together and work hard, or die. First off, from now on, everybody works. Everybody. You don't find a way to pitch in, you're out on your own. It's not fair for the people who work the hardest and risk the most to support folks that sit by. Obviously, exceptions will be made for the injured and infirm, and we're not going to have kids working in coal mines, but anybody can contribute by doing simple chores. It's mostly luck that got us this far. If we're going to survive, it's going to take sacrifice and the hardest work we've ever done. Anybody who isn't willing to do their share can't stay here. It's as simple as that. Agent, over here. Henry wants a word with you. We're barely hanging on. It's hard to motivate people to fight for their lives when their lives aren't worth fighting for. Good to meet you. Henry Hayes. Look, I sympathize, Henry. But we have our own problems, and they are big problems. Maybe we can help. I know you need people. You keep telling me you can't spare anyone. Not right now, but if you guys can take some pressure off of us. We are already doing what we can. Are you? Because outside those walls, it's perdition. We let our guard down just for a second, and it's over. All of this, whatever you're doing out there, we're not feeling it in here. Well, Sheriff, I hope you're ready for some extra work. Enforcements incoming. Heavily armored hostile detected.
I'll check it out. on this point. I'm trying to find my wife. She was assigned here. Then I'm sorry. This is a quarantine zone. She's a nurse, not a patient. All personnel are required to remain inside the perimeter until further notice. You can't keep people locked up in there. The staff were fully briefed on the situation. The hell they were. She left for work three days ago, expecting to be home that evening. Look, you can leave your name and I'll try to get word to her. It's Hayes. Henry Hayes. Hayes. Got it. Now go home, Mr. Hayes. It's not safe to be running around out here. I wish I had a cup of real coffee. going to say that things are good, because they ain't, but they're a bit better than they were. Doc Kandel is holding down the medical end of things, which is good, and Rhodes is up to whatever crazy shit he does with the systems, and meanwhile, Lau and her friend are doing their best to clean up this mess. It's a big effort. It's going to take all of us, and a whole lot more besides, but for the first time in a long time, I think we got a shot. target. Good job, agent. 